Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration this Thursday, the first week of Lent. During this Holy Eucharist, we pray for all the intentions of our parishioners here at Cristo Rey and at Santissimo Salvador de Mundo. In a special way, we pray for the soul of Silvino Raposo. To my words, give ear, O Lord, give heed to my sighs. Attend to the sound of my cry, my King and my God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, a spirit of always pondering on what is right and of hastening to carry it out. And since without you we cannot exist, may we be enabled to live according to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Esther. Queen Esther, seized with deadly anxiety, fled to the Lord. She prayed to the Lord God of Israel and said, O oh my Lord, you only are our king. Help me, who am alone and have no helper but you, for my danger is in my hand. Ever since I was born, I have heard in the tribe of my family that you, O oh Lord, took Israel out of all the nations and our ancestors from among all their forebears for an everlasting inheritance, and that you did for them all that you promised. Remember, O Lord, make yourself known in this time of our affliction, and give me courage. O King of the gods and master of all dominion, put eloquent speech in my mouth before the lion, and turn his heart to hate the man who is fighting against us so that there may be an end of him and those who agree with him. But save us by your hand and help me, who am alone and have no helper but you, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In response to God's word, we all say, Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. I give you thanks, O Lord, with my whole heart. Before the gods, I sing your praise. I bow down toward your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your steadfast love and your faithfulness. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. For you have exalted your name and your word above everything. On the day I called, you answered me. You increased my strength of soul. Lord, on the day I called, I, I called for help, you answered me. 
You stretch out your hand, and your right hand delivers me. The Lord will fulfill His purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Gathered on the hillside with the disciples, Jesus began to teach them. Ask, and it will be given you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who asks, receives, and everyone who searches, finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. Is there anyone among you who, if your child asks for bread, will give a stone? Or if the child asks for a fish, will give a snake? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who ask Him? In everything, do to others as you would have them do to you. For this is the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Last Sunday, during the uh, Eucharistic celebration, I said that the season of Lent is not only about what we give up, what we offer, what we do. These are important. We offer our vices. We offer our evil ways. We sacrifice. We offer and we share our resources with others, almsgiving. We give up on things that are pleasurable. We do fasting and we do prayers. We spend more time in prayers. These are good things. But remember, Lenten season is not just about giving up and offering. The season of Lent is also about receiving. What do we receive from God? First of all, Every day of our lives, no matter what, we receive blessings and graces from our God. We do not always deserve them, but God always gives them because God is a generous giver and provider. That's the nature of gift. We may not receive it, we may not deserve it, but the gift doesn't depend on the receiver. It's always it depends always on the giver, and it's from God. And so God always gave us graces and blessings. He knows what we need. He only gave good things for the people He loves, and He loves all of us, even sinners. That's why in the Gospels, in the readings during the Lenten season, we heard time and again, I have come to call the sinners, I have come for the sick, this is, what the, this is the mission of Jesus, so that all of us may, we, may recognize how much God loves us and how much God wants to continue to give us everything that we need in this life. Only good things. Now look at the gospel today. Ask, and it will be given you. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. Probably some people said, I have been asking but I have not received. I have been searching and I still have not found. I have been knocking and the door remains closed. The question is that God is, that is too busy. God has no time for us now. Are we asking for the right thing? Are we looking for the right thing? Are we knocking at the right door? That is the question we need to answer during the Lenten season. Do we just ask for things that will satisfy us right here, right now? Then we are not asking properly. Remember what Jesus said. If you who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who ask Him? 
good things. God knows what is good for us. We do not always know that. We do not always see that because of our limitations, because of our human weakness, and because sometimes our eyes are blinded uh, that we are not able to see what is really good for us. These are temptations. These are the allurements and the seductions of evil. God knows what's good for us, and He is always giving them to us. So we only ask what's good for us. And you'll be surprised. You will feel and you will know that God continues to give you whatever you need that is good for you. Look at the first reading today. Queen Esther. She placed her trust in the God of Israel. And that's why she said, Remember, O Lord, make yourself known in this time of our affliction and give me courage. Let this be our prayer. During this pandemic, during this Lenten season, but during also all the days of our lives, make yourself known in this time of our affliction, of our pandemic, and of the time that we are in the wilderness. Make yourself known to me, O Lord, and give me courage to always do the right thing and always ask for the right thing. If we know what is good for us, we will receive them. Uh, and that's why, my dear friends, let us pray for the courage, the openness, to receive the good things that God offers us. The only way for us to receive, to find, and for the door to be open for us if we also know what's good for us. God knows what's good for us. May we have the courage. May we have the help of the Spirit. Just like the call, like the opening prayer says, Lord, send us your Spirit so that we may always know what is right. Because only in asking for what is right, we will really feel the fullness of your presence in our lives. Give us courage when we experience despair in the wilderness of life. We know with the God who loves us, nothing is impossible. Jesus, we place our trust in you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be merciful, O Lord, to those who approach you in supplication and accepting the oblation and prayers of your people. Turn the hearts of, of, of us all toward you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very spirit who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now in the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Today, we specially remember Silvino Raposo. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks the door will be opened. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord our God, that as you have given these most sacred mysteries to be the safeguard of our salvation, so you may make them a healing remedy for us, both now and in time to come, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to join us this Saturday for our family healing rosary at 7 o'clock in the evening. It will be live streamed here at YouTube channel and also our Facebook page.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the mercy they have hoped for, O Lord, come to those who make supplication to you. And may the riches of heaven be given them, that they may know what, is, what it is right to us and receive what they have sought through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless all of you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.